early light What so proudly we hailed At the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars Through the perilous fight Or the ramparts we watched as you all know, you are entering into our world-class organization, the Los Angeles City Fire Department. Now, we should applaud that. It is, it is absolutely something that we should all be proud of. Each new member will be challenged to rise and to meet our stringent LEFD standards. Please remember that this next journey has only begun and our next right here 42 new LEFD members are entering into one of their most challenging yet rewarding professional fire service careers in the nation. You are my seventh recruit class to graduate under my command. In fact, like we spoke about just yesterday, I handpicked each and every one of you for your skill set, your experience, your preparation, which basically, as you all know and live, led you here today. Each and every one of you bring a unique skill set, a unique experience that will make our organization stronger and more resilient. As you know, you are now part of an elite world-class fire service organization and you must remain laser focused on meeting our mission to preserve life, protect property, and safeguard our communities through relentless commitment to emergency preparedness, prevention, response, and recovery. Now, take a deep breath, take the moment in to reflect back on your chartered path, on where you were, and how hard each and every single one of you standing here today have worked. It is a true privilege and honor to be your fire chief. On behalf of our 3,779 sworn and civilian personnel, welcome to the LAFD and God bless each and every one of you, our country and the men and women in the LAFD uniform. At this time, I would like to acknowledge some of the top performers of Class 22-5. The recipient for the Golden Gasket Award for the highest marks in Hosley Evolutions, Tay Huynh Lim. Recipient of the Golden Rung Award for the highest marks in ladder evolution, Christian Furrows. <laughs> Recipient for the award for overall top recruit with the highest combined marks of our class 22-5 is Brian Janelle. My classmates, I'm humbled to represent you today, and congratulations to each of you on reaching this milestone. For many of us, it has taken years to get to this point, but the big leap forward we are taking today does not mean that our work is done. It means paying attention to detail, and how those details can protect the lives of the public and each other. It means having a feel, and not just knowing when to act, but how and why you do what needs to be done. It only means that we now have the opportunity to show what we can contribute in the field, and I know that each of us takes that challenge seriously. Savor this moment, and savor the moment riding the engine or truck to your first call in a few days. Know that each of you has earned a spot on that rig, but that you must continue to earn it every single day. 22.5, no matter what challenges you face during probation or for the rest of your lives, I have always believed in each of you, and every member of this class will always have your back. Firefighter Christopher Gonzalez, presenting his badges of mother, Julia Carrera.
firefighter Therese Young. <laughs> Presenting her badge is her sister, LAFD firefighter paramedic Tanika Hubbard. Firefighter Kelly Young, presenting his badge as his father, Steve Young. Firefighter Michael Hernandez <laughs> presenting his badge as his mother, Michelle Lehman. Firefighter Joe Ayala, presenting his badge as his mother, Perlinda Gomez. Firefighter Giovanni Balderas, presenting his badge as his mother, Maria Luna. Firefighter Luis Oros. Presenting his badge is his brother, Jose Oros.
firefighter Brian Amaya. <laughs> Presenting his badge as his cousin, LAFD firefighter Edwin Amaya. Firefighter Miranda McCoster <laughs> presenting her badge as her uncle, retired LAFD engineer and former UFAC president, Pat McCoster. Firefighter Adrian Navarro presenting his badge as his mother, Olga Guterres. Firefighter Jaime Pantoja. <laughs> this is his dad, is his wife, Tanya Pantoja. Firefighter Jake Sanchez <laughs> presenting his badge as his father, Gus Sanchez. Firefighter Michael Hamilton yeah! presenting his badge is his daughter Mayan Hamilton.
firefighter Alan Chuang. Presenting his badge with his mother, Nancy Chen. Firefighter Roman Corrupto. Correcting his badge was his wife Ashley Corrupto. Firefighter Nicholas Flores presenting his badge as his wife Amanda Flores. Firefighter Thomas Morales, presenting his badge as his father, Sam Morales. Firefighter Jane Scrafacci presenting his badge as his father, firefighter paramedic Charles Mikola.
firefighter Mason Lopez presenting his badge with his girlfriend, Sarah Murphy. Firefighter Alexander Mendoza <laughs> presenting his badge as his mother, Sylvia Mendoza. Firefighter Elias Gallardo presenting his badge as his brother, LFT firefighter paramedic Art Gallardo. Firefighter Christian Valdez <laughs> presenting his badge as his mentor, Steve Cox. Firefighter Jacob Galveston presenting his badge with his brother, Bren Galveston. Firefighter K. Yun Lim presenting his badge as his mother, Young Sun Hong.
firefighter Andre Badillo, presenting his badge as his father, Igor Badillo. Firefighter Anthony Rosales. Firefighter Ethan Kemp, presenting his badge as his father, retired LAFD firefighter Randy Kemp. Firefighter Eric Oberding presenting his badge as his father, retired FDNY Captain Steve Oberding. Firefighter Sebastian Satorius. <laughs> Presenting his badge as his mother, Tina Satorius.
firefighter John Williams III. <laughs> Presenting his badge is retired LA County engineer John Williams Jr. Firefighter Danny Camarena. Firefighter Michael Gillespie presenting his badge to his girlfriend Delaney Harris. Firefighter Christian Furrows presenting his badge as his father, Jeff Furrows. Firefighter Dawson Preston. Presenting his badge to his girlfriend, Anastasia Matthews. Firefighter Ryan Sullivan uh -oh. presented his dad, his mother Sandy Sullivan, and father Southern Marine Fire Captain Courtney Sullivan.
firefighter Samuel Smiley presented his badge to his girlfriend, Alec Duda. Firefighter Brian Janelle. He's just in the crowd with his girlfriend, Kaylee Wilson Corey. This is an honor for me. For over 40 years, I've been coming to work with a smile on my face. And I told myself that I would retire when it turned upside down. Look at it, it's still here. This is the greatest job on earth, and I know you worked hard to get it. Know your mission, stay focused and on point. Take care of each other and your fellow firefighters. So with that, I gotta tell you, I'm so proud of every single one of you. I remember standing here over 40 years ago, uh, and it's a great day, so enjoy it. Because there's a lot, a lot of work ahead of you. You really have to know and learn your job. So right now, it's my honor to welcome all of you to the LAFD. And class leader, prepare these firefighters for the afterburn. All right, class 22-5, repeat after me. I do solemnly affirm, I do solemnly affirm that I will support this Constitution of the United States of America and that of the state of California, that I will obey the laws and ordinances of the city of Los Angeles familiarize myself with and be obedient to the rules and regulations. And orders of the Los Angeles Fire Department. And faithfully serve the City of Los Angeles. In the discharge of my duties as a firefighter. To the best of my knowledge, and ability. Welcome to the LAFD and congratulations. Class leader, Paul Young. It all starts here. This day, your title and your role in society will change your life. And it gets better. You will impact the lives of the people that you serve every day, every night, every morning. You're a rescuer, you're a public servant. We welcome you this day and we celebrate with those that helped you get here. No one stands alone. Please continue to work hard and receive the encouragement and give thanks to those that have brought you to this day. Can't tell you what you'll experience. We can only, by our experience, tell you that it will exceed your dreams. Firefighter Janelle, please take charge 
and dismiss your class. Command staff, attend hut. Present arms. Order arms. I went to college at UC Davis. I graduated with two uh, Bachelor of Arts degrees. Um, I studied abroad in San Diego, Chile. I became an EMT for a private ambulance company. I became an on-site EMT for Amazon. I've been working to be at this job for over almost 10 years now. And it's been amazing. That if you know this is your career, never give up. No matter how much, how much challenges you have, never give up. I went to college in San Luis Obispo and studied mechanical engineering um, and worked as an engineer as kind of a desk job after that and just didn't see myself doing that for 30 years like some of the people I worked with. And as I met, I had a mentor growing up in the fire department who introduced me to it and learning about the job I could easily see myself as something that I would love coming into work to do every single day and never regret, never not want to come into work. There's definitely no age limit. I think if you if you have the grit and drive to do it, that's the that's the only thing you can't teach as a firefighter. If you have the heart or the grit, they can't teach us that in the drill tower. They can teach us everything else. And so, if that's what you want to do, go do it. You know, so it takes people six months to get hired. It takes people over ten years to get hired. You know, you never know how long it's going to take. But if you have the heart to do it, you know, it it's all worth it at the end. Everyone just wanted it. Everyone wanted it so badly from whatever, whatever path it took them to get here, whether they were firefighters before, they worked retail you know, from other places. This is the best fire department in the world. It's the fire department I always wanted to work for. I'm lucky enough to have this opportunity, but it's just how bad that we want it. You know, when the drill tower was hard, when they were smoking us out and we were sweating through every layer we were wearing, you know, it's how much you want it. You ask yourself how much you want to be here today. And, you know, that's all it comes down to. And I've been working for this for a while. I became an EMT in 2012. Okay. I actually went to New Mexico and I was a full-time firefighter for two years in New Mexico. I came back when we were going to have our kids and since then I've just been working, trying to get a job. I was a volunteer firefighter at Wahabra Heights. I then went to Running Springs. I worked in a hospital and here I am, eight years later. LA City is known just for being super aggressive, really getting in there fighting fire. A lot of other departments, you don't really get that opportunity. And when it does come up, you're not very prepared for it. Being over here, going through this drill tower, I see why the world looks at LA City as one of the premier departments. So being a part of an organization like that is just, you know, that's uplifting for me, that's uplifting for the community, that's uplifting for my family, and I hope I set a good example for them. Go for it, don't give up. Uh, it's a long road, it's gonna be worth it, and uh, you know, there's lots of, there's lots of downs and you just got to be able to persevere and push through it. So never give up, never surrender. When it comes down to my decision, I look at our, our candidates holistically. I look at what they're going to be able to contribute to the LEFD. I look at their experience. I look at their life experience, not just the firefighting experience. And I'm looking for a holistic, amazing human being who can come on board with the LEFD, do the job, and also have a heart to serve. Yeah, 22-5, you know, I had the opportunity to speak to them yesterday. I, I said, you got to smile, enjoy this journey. Uh, but you know what? Each class is unique. This one seemed like a really cohesive team. You could see how they interacted with one another. I felt like they had each other's back as it should be. And really, they got to build each other up. And I really had that feel from this class, 22-5. And I tell you, I'm so proud to have them as our brand new probationary firefighters. And again, we're looking at the next generation of LAFD coming up.